how often should I do a live webinar in the beginning stages of my business? It's going to depend on how big your audience is because the bigger your audience is, the more people you're going to be able to get into that webinar over and over and over again. If you have a really small audience, your organic well is going to dry up really quickly. If you have like a thousand followers or something and you promote your live webinar and 30 people show up, well, the next time you promote that live webinar, if you promote it again like the next week, you're probably going to have a lot less than 30 people. You're probably going to have like maybe 10 people. So if I was to do a live webinar recurring, I would do it once a month. Once a month is plenty because that gives you time to get another 1,000 followers every month. Right? Everyone should be able to get 1,000 followers a month on Instagram. That's only 33 followers a day. That's really, it's really not that difficult to do. If you're posting the right pictures and you're doing the Instagram work, you can get 1,000 followers a month. With 1,000 followers a month, you should be able to get at least 50 of those people into your webinar. You should be able to get at least 5%. But you should really get at least 50 people into a webinar if you have 1,000 new followers every month. But you gotta, you got to get these followers in. So in, just having them on Instagram isn't, isn't enough. You need to get them into your email list. So this is where having a, a freebie funnel comes in, having a free ebook to give out, having a free video course, a free audiobook, or a free something. Ideally, audiobook, ebook, or video course. So you get your 1,000 followers a month. You get a lot of them, at least 200 of them, to get your free book. The ones that get your free book, you get them into the webinar. Ideally, you're, 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 uh, you can prove that it sells within your first webinar. And then from there, you can automate it right away so that you're having the automated version go all the time, plus you're going live. So I have an automated webinar that's running 24-7, plus once a month approximately, I'm going live just to throw some extra, extra fuel on the fire and to test, test new things. Going live on a webinar allows you to test things. You get instant feedback right away if it works or not.